Okay, so I've been developing a new texture pack since May, I think. I don't even know, to be honest, I can't remember. But yeah, it honestly just started off with little heads and then it kind of just kept going from there. And then now I have a whole texture pack. If anyone's ever seen Monsters videos, then you'll have seen the texture pack before. He's probably the only one, I think, who's actually been using this texture pack. I know, I know Terios has been using uh, a different one that I made like last year. And that one was just mostly upscaling and stuff like that. But this one, the big thing about this one is that there is no upscaling. Apart from like some of the text, there is no upscaling. I'm going to be showing off like basically everything, like everything, because the last time I did something like this, I barely showed off anything and kind of regret that. So, but yeah, straight away, new select screen. So most of the loading screen, uh, the source images are from other places in the game. Most of them are just chess heads and loading screens. So you'll see right here. Yeah, most of them don't really change that much at all. They're just HD and they're not been upscaled or anything like that. It's literally just like just different sources for the images. Some of them though, some of them though are a bit different. So uh, Baraka and Baracho are different. There's no other image of that in the game. So yeah, I just went with their loading screens because why not? Still looks decent. They still have the exact same background as well. Yeah. The only one I changed here was Shang Tsung. And I guess Shao Kahn looks slightly different as well. But yeah, moving on. Um, luckily with these games, they have a crypt, unlike MK1. And the crypt has higher res full screen versions of all the stages. So yeah, you sort of just, just take those images and you put them into the select thing. And now you have HD renders of every stage. And these should also show up in the ladder as well. So yeah. So that's pretty cool. And this also goes for the two stages that were added in with UMKD as well, because they had a crypt picture in the catacombs and the acid bath, they also had the Thingo and Delhi Alliance, like the full screen image. So I just used that from that. So yeah, I'll go through all like the, the HUD changes and stuff like that. So, so yeah, all the chess renders are just their original renders. It's just, they happen to be double the size. So they have this weird filter on them, but yeah, it just sort of is what it is. And then same for UMKD as well. So they look like twice as good. And then the uh, puzzle combat stages also have things from the crypt. So those were changed as well. Getting into the stages that were changed was mostly just conquest stages that had anything really done to them. It was mostly just the ground textures for a few of them and then just little background things here and there. But yeah, so like for Earthrun, for example, if you look at the old grass and then the new grass, it's just a bit more detailed. And basically where I took this grass from was uh, from Earthrealm, like where you're just running around. It, it's actually it's actually the same grass texture from Edenia as well, so yeah, it's literally the same but just more detailed, so it looks better, and yeah. Also you can see up the top there the two little images underneath the health bar. The original source thing from that was uh, chess combat. So if we're looking at biggest changes for um, stages i guess this would be the biggest one so yeah if we have a look at the ground here yeah it's just it's like just way better also because i use chess renders for um the little heads the characters that didn't use chess renders for little heads now use chess renders for little heads so shao khan goro Jax, and blaze and Liu kang and darius actually as well all use the little heads so they're slightly different, but I think they look better to be honest. Also, Shao Kahn's helmet looks a bit different here as well. Literally, his skull was the exact same texture as Scorpion's Deadly Alliance alternate. So, yeah, I basically just changed it to that because it was like double the quality. So, yeah. Yeah, so same thing with the Denia, um, with the grass. He uses the exact same grass as Earthrealm, so that's all been changed. Both these skins are both from Deadly Alliance, so Baracho basically has his ult from Deadly Alliance for his ult. That's why, if I turn it back to the original, it's pink that's his ult and then yeah Kenji has his deadly alliance textures for his ult because it just looks a lot better doesn't it you're probably not going to really be able to tell in a video but it, yeah it looks a lot fucking better like you can actually read his sash and everything like that you can see like the dragon and all that so yeah and then like his facial damage is also from deadly alliance as well which i don't know it's not better or worse kind of just is what it is so all the biggest differences are with the umkd characters because they're all brought over from armageddon and armageddon just sort of ruined a lot of characters so this is before and then this is after so basically just her deadly lines textures instead of Armageddon textures so yeah you can actually see like 
yeah, all the details and everything there. The stage is one of the only stages in the arcade that actually was improved, so basically just little things in the background there made a bit better. I'm not sure where I actually got these textures from, I don't know if they're from Deadly Alliance or not, because I know this stage appears in Deadly Alliance, but yeah, I don't know. So that's been made slightly better, so that's cool. So Katana is another big one, um, yeah. I mean, yeah, just, especially on an ult, just the differences there is, yeah, it's crazy. They even changed the colours and everything like that, it's just, yeah. Uh, the nether ship interior is another one that sort of had a decent amount of changes. I don't know if I can see like the water out right here, Let's see if this works. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, so... I think the water's actually been changed a little bit here from memory. Yeah, there we go, so it looks a bit, looks a bit clearer. Not really gonna notice it in game, but I don't know, I just did it just cause. Um, also this map has a bit more detail on it as well. So we do it before and after. Yeah, not really that noticeable, but I don't know. it's kind of cool. I think the only thing, other thing in this stage was the wooden boards up the side, the wooden planks in the side there, behind them. Look a bit better there, so that's pretty cool. Oh man, okay, yeah, this looks so much cleaner now. This is originally what it looked like, and now this is what it looks like now. Again, these are all textures that were just found in the game, so it's literally just taking other textures in the game and doing this, so yeah. So Nataro was a big thing, because they basically just fucked her textures. In Armageddon, like, they just, they do not work. Um, yeah, and they redesigned her, and it's just, so like, yeah, if you look at that, it's just kind of awful. Her knife is glitched. It's just, yeah. And the gold shines and all that, so that's pretty cool, and it's all readable and stuff like that. Shang Tsung's more or less the same. So yeah, looking at, like, his dragon on his back and on his leg and stuff like that that's all like a lot clearer now so yeah and these are all just deadly lines textures as well like nothing none of this has been upscaled none of this has been like hand created or anything like that or ai or any anything like it's all shit from other games or shit from in the game itself just put somewhere else um sector and sarx both have improved helmets uh rain's p2 alt is no longer half the quality of his uh, primary ult, so it's now consistent there, so yeah, it looks a lot better. Draman has his Deadly Alliance textures there as well, so you can see all the meat and grossness a lot clearer, which is great. Yes, yeah, Serena's ult P2 also had the same issue as Reigns, so that one's been fixed, obviously. Quan Chi is an interesting one because I've changed a few things about him. Not only does he have his Deadly Alliance textures on everything, I gave him his proper amulet and that texture was just straight up taken from uh, whatever that stage is. Fuck, I can't remember what the stage is. It's like the Lost Tomb or some shit like that. I can't fucking remember. But yeah, interesting thing about his face texture is that that was actually taken from the Deadly Alliance crypt because that's actually the highest quality version of his face texture that is available. It's even higher than the one they used in Deadly Alliance, so yeah. It kind of makes me think like there's probably an old employee from Midway somewhere who has like every texture that appears in these games like somewhere and they're all like way higher quality and all that. Like all the source images of all this stuff and everything and just yeah. It's a shame that we'll never really get it but. So some characters have had like exclusive like second colour things to their skins so like basically yeah their P2 skins have had unique things about them so for example, Jax in Deadly Alliance had camo pants instead of his regular pants and Kira had these like weird dragons on her boots. So now I brought them just straight to uh, like both versions of Kira and both versions of Jax now have camo pants. Cause... Also yeah, there's a look at Jax's little head now instead of what he normally has. So yeah, most of the characters just have little things changed about them. So Frost for example just has her, I think her face and her hair from Deadly Alliance. Everything else is the same from Armageddon because it actually uh, is the same as Deadly Alliance, apart from her sash, which is better in Armageddon, surprisingly. And yeah, Shang Tsung is the exact same, except the basically the things on his elbow are high quality. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it is what it is, I guess. I'm um, looking at this stage as well, so because there's towers and stuff like that, I basically just remade the towers, um, like in Photoshop. So, yeah, they look better now. And they're a bit more colourful and a bit more noticeable, so yeah. Also fixed up one of the things because um, I think Jade was on the MK2 tower in the original one and obviously Jade doesn't have an MK2 icon, so 
And she never appeared on the MK2 tower, so I switched her over to Katana. So it makes more sense, I guess. And I think that's basically it, just for like stages and characters and stuff like that. Um, I'll move on to Conquest now. Because there's a few things in Conquest. Okay, so Earthrealm again, like just subtle changes to certain things. So, you know, all the text in Conquest mode has been done. Um, actually, I'll show the compass real quick. So the compass, so have a look at the original compass and you can see how the green arrow sort of kind of goes inside the border there. And then, uh, yeah, if we look right there, a little bit of like the interior is leaking out to the outside. So I fixed both those things. So now that no longer happens. So yeah, you have a nice clean compass. All right, I'm gonna switch over to day so we can actually see these differences and stuff like that. So this texture here was found a lot in Deadly Alliance. So, and it obviously was better in Deadly Alliance. So yeah, that's a, that's a nice little difference there. So that also applies over to the Lin Kuei as well. Like if we look at the old and the new, much better. Looking at items as well, so not every item has been done, but most of them have been. So if we look at like the old version, new version, looks a bit better. Yeah, I'd say about like 50% have been done, like a lot of the keys. So yeah, it's, it's not bad at all. Um, yeah, also the textures for this bridge as well have also been uh, taken from Deadly Alliance. So they're a tiny bit better as well. Actually, I'll see if you can see the difference here. It's old, new. A little bit different. <laughs> so this one I'm pretty happy about. It's um, basically the texture that covers the entire ground for Outworld. So it's the same thing as the stage. Um, just, yeah. Weirdly enough, I found this texture in Scorpion's Lair in Mortal Kombat Armageddon. I just found, I found a higher quality version of it. So, so yeah, I just turned it purple and there you go. There's Outworld. <laughs> so Order Realm is probably the biggest uh, change throughout all the realms, basically just because the textures are so basic and sort of bland here. So all the roads have more or less been done actually if I, yeah, if we, we would like to compare this. So there's the old, there's the new. Yeah, basically because these things, I think that's where the big texture came from. So then I basically was just able to recolor them or repattern them or whatever, whatever I needed. And then it just basically suits yeah, all the ground, so, yeah. And I think that's just about it. I'm trying to think if there's anything else to this. Mm, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, just very subtle, very subtle changes, but, you know, that was kind of the goal, was basically just keep the game the same. Don't change the style of anything else. Basically just use textures that appear in other places, but in higher quality. So I might as well show off uh, Quan Chi's ult as well, because that's pretty decent. Quan Chi. So yeah, this is what the uh, arcade tower is looking like with all the uh, new stages and all that. Also the highest quality version of the coins that appeared are also in here as well, so. So yeah, that's Quan Chi's ult with the uh, amulet, but I will leave an optional replacement for something a little different. So yeah, something a little different, just more of his MK4 sort of thing that looks really weird from that angle, but yeah. But yeah, basically just giving him his yin yang um, just because that's what he had in MK4 and his MKX skin, so that's an optional replacement right there. But yeah, that is uh, Mortal Kombat Deception texture pack from me. I will be updating it. The good thing is that the link won't change when it's updated, so I'll basically just put a post on like Twitter and maybe Discord and all that when the post is, uh, when the texture pack is updated, so there's not really much to do. There's just a couple things around a couple stages and a couple characters like monster and stuff like that have a few differences i gotta make but yeah apart from that it's basically done i will eventually do an armageddon one eventually the cool thing is the textures from this texture pack in terms of the characters and stuff like that and the text i believe uh do carry over to armageddon so you won't have to change any names or anything like that you literally just put this texture pack in armageddon and the characters that were changed in this game will also change in armageddon so that's pretty fucking cool too and yeah, that'll be it for me, I reckon. <laughs> Enjoy.